Today we are going to learn how to use Microsoft Designer to create book covers. Okay, this applies to independent publishers and authors. I'll be using this program to create a lot of covers in the recent time. So let me walk you through on how you can do that on your own. Open your web browser. Visit designer.microsoft.com. I have this link in the description. As the program opens, on this section, describe the kind of design you want to create. And remember, in this case, we are creating a book cover, okay? Okay, look at my description here. I said create a professional book cover design on the tie to YouTube money making. This design should be of high quality, okay? So after describing the kind of design you want, just click generate. All right, these are the stuff. These are the designs generated for us, which are beautiful, but we do not need to pull this design like this, okay? So we are going to edit them to be okay with what we want. On this side, designer suggests something better for us. He says we should use this. Create a professional book cover design for YouTube money making. Incorporate a professional image that represents the book's content. Use blue, black, and white colors to convey professionalism. I think this is more details. So let's click on this and then click on generate. These are the designs returned to us based on the suggestion, all right? So we scroll down the page and then choose anyone we feel is okay, all right? So I'll click on this. And then go with the option, customize design. Okay, this is the generated design in a fuller way. So the first thing we are going to do here is to choose our dimension. At the moment, Designer allows dimension in pixels. But book publishing companies or platforms like Amazon KDP have their units in inches. So we are going to do the conversion. First, click on this. Select resize. Okay, the current size is 607 by 1080 pixels. So let's go with the option create a custom size the standard book cover size for amazon kdp for instance is 6 by 9 inches though you can choose a different dimension okay a different size but here for the fact that these units are in pixels we don't know what they are in inches so let's open a new tab and then do the conversion in google as searched convert 6 inches to pixel and this is the result it returns. 6 inches is 576 pixels. So I'll go back here and then make the changes. 576. All right, so we are going to convert 9 inches to pixels as well. So let's make this search. After the change, click on continue. And then we go with the option resize and replace. And here we have a new size of the cover we are creating. Okay, as we have made the change, the next thing is to change some elements. First, I don't like this image here. Besides, Amazon KDP in the recent time came up with the idea that if you used any image generated by AI, you must declare it as your publishing. So I don't want to make that declaration. So I want to change this image. So the first is to click on the image, press the backspace key of your computer keyboard for it to be removed. Another thing I want to change is the background. I didn't like the default background chosen by the AI. So I'll click on this, select background. On this new page, these are the suggested backgrounds we can go with. So let me go with black. This black color is okay for me. So I'll click out. 
let's work on the text on the design so i'll click on the text brush for it to be selected and i then move this text up okay so i now drop it in a position where i want it then i have to remove some text from here to leave only the ones i want remember at the initial stage the title of this book is youtube money making all right so let me redesign this text the way i want it so i'll click on the text box so i'll click again all right so this has select one of them i will erase some of the text okay i have one keyword here which is youtube so what i will do here is to change the font type and the font size because that is the main keyword in this book cover this text youtube should be a heading because that is where every attention points at okay so i'll click on the text brush after that you will see the front it is formatted in so i'll click on that spot now in this new section i'll go with the option brand front okay as you can see the first suggestion shows that is a heading the second one is a subheading so i will go with the heading after the text is chosen as the heading i'll click on this font size and then drag and make it bigger okay so just design it in a way that everything will be on one line just as i'm doing right now so i will reduce the front okay i think this is cool then i will drag by the side here yeah? okay the second thing we need to do here is to introduce the second main keyword which is money all right i have created youtube and let's create money and after that we create making all right so i'll click on text select so add a heading this is still a heading on its own okay so heading has been added into our design so let's type the text we need, which is money, all right? After typing what you need, you can click out and then drag it to the position you want it. We can increase the font size. So let's introduce the third word, which is making. As you draw, click on add heading. And then type the word, which is making in this case. When you are done typing what you want, you can click out, then click on the text box and drag to a new direction, a new position. Okay. Okay, we now have our major keywords, word position, which are YouTube money making. All right. So the next thing we are going to do here is to introduce an element, which is an image that will portray what you are talking about in this design. And for us to do that, click on my media. Then choose how to source your image. Sometimes you may download an image from the web and as it is in your PC, go with option for you to upload it. So I have an image I've already downloaded in my computer so i will use it to portray this design so i'll go with the option from this device okay this is the youtube logo i want to use for this so i'll double click on it as the image is imported into my media so i will drag and drop into the design all right here is the image so i can reshape it or i can leave it the way it is all right if you want to reshape, go with this side and then drag. You can take your cursor to this section and then drag again. All right. So just reshape it in the way you want it to be. Okay. Okay. The next step to take now is to add the author's name. And um, in this design, I want to use Godwin Richards. Okay. 
So I will delete this text by clicking on it, followed by the backspace key of my computer keyboard. It's gone. So I will introduce a new text by clicking on the text tab, followed by add a heading. Yeah, my name is a heading because I'm a big author. All right. <laughs> so I will type Godwin Richards. So you can see the text size is so big. So I will reduce it. All right. So I'll click out. Then click on the text box again and then move the text box with the text to the place I want it in the design. So here I want it at the bottom part of my design. I think I still need to decrease the text size. Good. I think we are getting it here. So you can see this is just a simple design. So this is our simple design. But if you look at this idea section, you can see designer is still suggesting some designs for you. So you may decide to click on that and see the suggestions and use what is suggested for you. But in my own case, I'm okay with this. Though, even if after checking this to know if it's something better, you can use the undo button to return to where you were in the design before, okay? Now, let's go and change this name before we download the design. So here, I can click on that spot and select rename. Then give it a new name of my choice. So in this case, I can give it a name like cover, okay? Or cover one. Anyone after that, click the enter key of your computer keyboard for it to be saved, all right? So let's move on and then download this. So I'll click on download button. Then go on and click on download. And in this state, this design is already downloaded into your downloads folder, okay? Your PC downloads folder. So if you go to your PC downloads folder, you will see the design there. Here is the design here in the downloads folder of my computer. So if I double click on it, I will see it in a bigger way. Okay, here is the design and it is cool. YouTube money making by Godwin Richard. So it's a cool design, simple but cool. All right, but we cannot upload this design just like this on KDP or on Apple Books. Okay, or Kobo. But I have experimented with Apple Books before and it says that the design is not up to 300 dpi. So in publishing frames, 300 dpi is recommended if you are using the cover for the print copy of your book. Sometimes even in the ebook platform, they still require that. So we are going to use publisher to touch this design a little to maintain that 300 TPI. Probably you use Microsoft 365 subscription. So as a writer, I always have that in my PC. So let's work with publisher. So I'll click on the start menu. In this section, I'll search for publisher. It's already installed on my PC. So if we don't have Microsoft 365, just get it and you will have publisher in it. As the publisher app opens, select blank A4 portrait. The next step we are going to take is to make the design to be in inches. So click on the five star, on the five tab, select options, select advanced. In the show measurements in the units of select inches. Click OK. Then click on page design, select size, select create custom page. So under this section, don't touch it. In this section, our usual design is 6 by 9 inches. So change this to 6. Then change this to 9. Everything is now in inches, okay? At the margin guide, you are going to use 0 0.125 for all, all right? After setting this standard, 6 by 9, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0 0.125, and 0 0.125. Just click on OK. The next step we need to take here is to import that our previous design on designer into this platform. So click on insert, select pictures. As your computer opens, then we get to downloads, which is where the design was downloaded in. Okay. So this is the cover one, which is the name I gave to the design. So double click on it. As this design is placed into publisher, 
adjust it to fit him properly. Do not go beyond the margin we set, okay? As you can see, this adjustment is cool at this point. As you can see, the adjustment is okay in this state. So let's now save the design. Click on Find. Select Save As. Select Browse. Now, this is where we are going to maintain the standard to be in 300 TPI. Under Save As Type, select JPEG, all right? Then give this a new name, maybe new cover. Then click on this spot, change. And select the option, high quality printing or commercial press. You can see in bracket 300 DPI. So check this option, click OK. And then click on save. With this, this design is now saved in 300 DPI which is suitable to be used for paper printing in Amazon KDP, Kobo, Apple Books, and the rest. So one publishing just use the, the new design we created now on Publisher. I hope this guide helps. Please, if it does, do like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. See you some other time.